Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hey, hello, farmers. Welcome back to Ravenport. Been a little busy. Uh, not extremely busy. I got that field finished plowed over there, and we put some oats into it. And by looking at it, it might need some weeding done right now. Uh, when that was being seeded, I started harvesting this field, and I stopped right there. I sort of had a plan for this episode, uh, but that went south rather quick. There was an update to, update to the game today, so I uploaded it. It was supposed to help make the steering wheels work better. Um, a lot of people were having problems activating... Oh, there's no weeds into it. Good. Uh, and it's fertilized. Uh, they were having problems activating, like, uh, the, the spots over, like, the workshop. They couldn't hit the R, the R button didn't work for them, basically, if you're using the keyboard on a PC. So they had a patch, and I said, oh, great. Maybe we'll fix some other things. I started the game. It made my steering wheel worse. So much worse. It worked for some of the people from reading the forums, but my steering wheel... I had to revert back to the original patch. And I don't know if this would cause this problem, but my plan for this episode was to make this field bigger. When this person was plowing the field, uh, we were going to cut some trees. Well, my chainsaw works, which is great. Um, I cannot rotate the chainsaw at all. Which makes it difficult to cut down a tree. Unless I were lay on my side somehow and cut down it. So right now, I cannot use a chainsaw. I checked all my settings, made sure my key bindings were right, and everything's right. I cannot, I cannot rotate the chainsaw. So, yeah, my plan was, when I bought this land, I said, well, we can cut, you know, cut down some trees, make some money from that. And really, I want to expand that field that's there and pretty much bring it all the way up to this road-ish. I think we can bring it up this high. I'm not sure if it, if the, my plow is going to take out like bushes like this, but we will find out as we go. But I mean, we can almost double the size of that field. It's going to get a little killy here, but it's not that bad still. I mean, I've seen worse hills in Farming Simulator. But yeah, I want to cut down all the trees. I'm not sure if I can cut down little saplings like this yet. And uh, I may not be able to bring out the field all the way to here. So I mean, yeah, but I do want to extend the field out to here. Which will give us a nice, huge field. That was my plan for this episode. So that's kind of out the window because I can't use a chainsaw. So that's why I've been working a little bit. I'm just trying to think, okay, what do we do? I said, well, let's continue with the fields that we have. Our money situation has gone down a little bit because I hired a helper to plow. Because with that small plow, yeah, I would like to get a bigger plow. And I said, well, we can because we got, I mean, the case can haul it no problem. But you know what? It's still early game. I'm trying to save the cash. To get what we need when we need it. I know some people may say, well, you know, cheat the money in so we can, you know, maybe advance a little bit better, do this or that, but, you know, I'm trying to do it realistically as much as I can in the mode that we're in. But that's where we're at right now. So right now, yes, uh, we got soybeans to harvest and wheat behind us to harvest. The same thing as before. Right now, I plan on just putting all this stuff in storage. Uh, yes, we could use some money, but I do plan on looking at contracts later on. Maybe we'll do some weeding or fertilization. Because to me, that's that's a pretty good money maker if you can do that. So that's our plan for this episode is uh, to get these fields turned around again. The good thing is, right now... This field uh, that we're harvesting does not need to be weeded, does not need to be plowed. I haven't checked up here yet, this field, because I haven't harvested it yet, obviously. Uh, if you're asking why, this used to be two separate fields and made it to one, so I don't know if this section of the field is going to require something different than that field did. But I did plow, we did plow it as a complete field and also limed it as a complete field. I hope that reset it. The chickens are doing their chicken thing. But I'm hoping to get enough cash up to where we can buy some more, I, almost, I don't want to say fields, but before we can buy some more land. I showed you those two that were over by the animal dealership. I think those would be, those two pieces of land, if we convert it to one field, that'd be a great field to do. 
it would require us to, of course, bring everything over. And yeah, with not with no follow me or anything like that. Yep, onesies at a time. I think the best thing I, I could do is bring the case tractor over. Uh, and set that to plow the field, you know, merge the field and set that to plow. And while that's going on, I can use the Massey Ferguson tractor to start bringing, like, well, depending on what we need after we we uh, plow the field as one, it may need it may need lime and all that. But that's we're not too far off from being able to buy those two fields. The way these fields are turning over, we can sell the crop and make some good cash. But the oats that we're going over there, I'm trying to start to get a stockpile of oats because at some point we are going to have horses. That's the next thing that we're going to have because horses can make you some cash, as I've seen. I watched a tutorial on how to do horses and what they, you know, someone did a, a tutorial on it. I watched it and I was like, okay, so you buy a horse for 5000 in 10 days, you can sell it for fifty if you do everything correctly. So that's a good money maker as it is. Although from you actually have to ride your horse for about five minutes every day in order to get um, quality to go up really well. It's not just make sure your animals have food and water for horses, but with horses you got to ride them around and help get that quality up on them. So I am hoping that Giants has a fix for the patch they just released. I don't know. I, I, it's weird. I reverted back to the original patch. Now my chainsaw won't rotate. So yeah, that's the thing. I'm actually surprised that Giants is having this sort of an issue. You think <laughs> the development team that they have and the game they've had up for this long would not have these kind of issues at release. You would have thought they would have had some of this resolved before release, but that's what a lot of people are raging about in the discussion forum. Uh, the discussion forum where people can just say anything, but it's true. I kind of agree with them a little bit there. It seems like the things that should be so simple, but then again, I'm not a, I'm not much of a coder or nothing like that, so I'll just keep my mouth shut. I'll just stick to virtual farming. and harvesting our soybeans. And once I get this field complete, we'll get the Massey Ferguson to seed. I might do soybeans again, just so, of course we're putting this in storage. I'm trying to get it so when I bring the trailer somewhere, we have a decent sized trailer to go instead of just going with like a half a trailer or whatever. We're buying those two other fields that is going to require us to do more work because we got to transport all of our equipment over there to work on it. And for as fast as these fields turn over, going back and forth quite a bit. It's not that far down the road. And if you're playing at real time like I am right now, it's not that much of an issue. But it'll just take up more of your real time to have how the fields are very close to one another. Well, I've already gotten one full combine out of the first section of the field that I was doing. And if you remember, I had to wait quite a long time. I actually harvested the first part of the field. It was like 7.30 in the morning it was. I had to fast forward time because this section would not turn. Which is weird because I seeded this field all in one go. So it must have been at a, at a time scale of how it grew. I don't know. But yeah, I was hoping to make some cash in this episode by selling the wood and making a nice, bigger field over there. But that may have to wait another episode. This is the last episode I'm recording today, so I'm hoping that when I start recording tomorrow, there will be another patch and I can see if the chainsaw works. I thought about selling the chainsaw, buying another chainsaw to see if that worked, and it's like, you know what? I'll just find someone else to do this episode and wait a day and see if anyone else has a problem with it. But it took me a good 15-20 minutes after the patch to figure out. I kept going to settings trying to fix my steering wheel. 
oh man, it was a mess. I'm like, uh, yeah, then Giants had a posted thread saying, oh yeah, by the way, if you're having a problem with your Steam, we'll go back, go back to the original version if it worked then. They're aware of the problem again. But they're working on it, which is a good thing. All right, let's go empty these soybeans. Almost got a full combine once again. I want to check the field before I seed it to make sure the entire field does not need nothing. Like I said, I think I'm going to put soybeans back in it again just so I can fill this trailer. As you can see, this one field is probably going to fill it maybe to a third to half, somewhere in there. So if I do the field one more time, it'll be almost a full trailer when I go to sell it somewhere. Yeah, because we do have some canola in stock as well, I do believe. There's our wheat for our chickens. Yeah, we get we got uh, 7,500 liters of canola, which the price is... Pork grain elevator, look at that price, 13. That's a decent price. Uh, soybeans. Uh, $1,800? $1,800. That is, uh, that's like a hello price. That got my attention. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't have anything else, obviously, in stock. Wait, what was that? Oh, eggs, that's right. We got, we got some eggs. Uh, yeah, anyways... Drive the harvester up here, we'll get out, we'll check, we'll run around the field just a little bit, make sure it shouldn't need lime, it shouldn't need, shouldn't need anything really, but I just want to make sure before I go back to harvesting. Uh, no weeds, no fertilization, doesn't need plowing or lime, which is good. The one thing I've been kind of glad is... As I said in the previous episode, I filled this seed drill with one um, bag of seed at the store when I bought it. And you can see I'm just about down to maybe just under 25% left in the tank. Alright, let's go back to that canola, that soybean. No, no, I don't know why, I just... I do realize I've got the narrow tires on here, but it seems to be working just fine the way it is. Now the one thing some people have asked, the chop straw is not like the chop straw mod in 17. Does, that does not add a stage of fertilization. It's just a, just a visual effect for you. Which I think is, you know, it's nice. At least they have that as they should have, I think. But, I'm going to get to harvest in this wheat. And I'll bring it back in a while. Finished harvesting the wheat field. Time to give the combine a good spray off. Getting a little dirty. Can't have that with our equipment. Since we're, going to, we're not going to have to use it for a day or so. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to, you know... Used to seasons where I would go like four or five episodes at least before we did harvesting again, but. Hey, let's back this sucker up and we'll park it back in the shed. We'll hop back into the case, go over to the chickens, top off the chickens as we do. Because little by little we are getting more and more chickens. Let's go see how much they require. I'm also hoping, because a lot of people are complaining about how much... Am I not in the zone area? Alright, there it is. A lot of people are complaining how much the pens cost for the animals. Uh, okay, so the chickens didn't require that much. 
food, 6,000 liters. So in a few days time, we had 30, 30 chickens of each. Uh, roosters, I don't know what, what, well, it says the roosters are producing eggs, I, I guess. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we gained almost 10, 20, we've almost gained 30 chickens. And the one thing, they don't really give you a total of how many chickens you got. I mean, you have to add them up yourself. It should stay down here like you have so many chickens. Our pen should be able to hold 400. Is it 400? Yeah, 400. So we originally started with 100. We're going to let them breed, do their thing. And little by little, when they when we get up around 400, we'll start selling them. Now, I just, I'm hoping there's going to be a mod at some point to where we can buy a trailer to transport chickens. That's the other thing I don't, I mean, you give us an animal and nothing to transport them in. And it says, hey, there's a transportation fee if you don't transport them yourself. And it's like, well, if I could... Maybe I would, but you don't give me that option, game. Uh, like I said in the previous couple episodes, you know, mods are coming out pretty fast. Some are working, some aren't, so just be careful out there. Or at least give it a try. Um, actually, I'm just going to leave this trailer right here. And what we're going to do now is suck up to the coon baler. Well, he's going to bail the field. I almost want to call this the red shed. Too bad I can't paint the shed. I'd paint it red, I guess. Like I said, that was not intended when I was buying equipment. I was just like, this is what we need. This is what we need. And in the end, we ended up with red everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah, it's still, uh, I'm st still a little peeve that I couldn't use a chainsaw to cut down trees to make a bigger field because a bigger field would mean more crops. More crops mean more money. So I'm hoping sometime overnight there's a miracle. I did try restarting the game. That didn't help my cause at all with the chainsaw. But if it's resolved, we'll be cutting down some some of those trees, selling the trees, as we know we don't have to go too far to sell the wood. I don't want to get in the way of the worker. We're almost broke. Well, technically we are broke, because we owe the bank. I'm hoping that bail does not come out just yet, because I don't want it to be in the way of the worker. There, now it can come out. Uh, I don't know how much money we actually owe the bank. I wanted to say somewhere around 380. That's what I would think we're at. And I think we can borrow up now up to 550 because we bought land. Buying more land allows you to get more of a loan. It's called equity. Um, yeah, so more land you buy, then the more money you can loan out, which means you can buy more land, which means loan more money. Let me go this way. That bail may spit out, and I don't want to, like I said, don't want to get in the way of the worker. And the good news about planting oat over there from oats, we can make straw bales, which we know we can sell to make a decent amount of cash. Not a great amount, but a decent amount. But definitely looking forward to buy those two fields over by the animal dealership just because you know we we need more fields to make more money we're not doing bad to start off here i don't think but obviously having more fields is going to help out the farm quite a bit 
and then eventually our main farm is going to be somewhere in the middle of the map. I need to bu going to buy like a eventually we'll buy one of the big fields and set up base there. Probably the Massey in this case will stay here. Probably even with the uh, harvester as well. Getting a bigger harvester would be nice right now though. I'm starting to grow just a little bit tired of the small tank and that harvester, but it's it's fine. You do with what you got. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna blow through this eighty-four dollars or eighty-two dollars. It's going down quicker and quicker. It seems like, <laughs> but we are gonna do a couple couple jobs here in a while. And I'll probably need the Massey Ferguson to do so. So I need it to finish seeding that field. Of course, first of all, I probably need to check the contract page to see what is available. I just can't say, well, we're going to go fertilize or herbicide right away until I know what's actually available. Keep an eye on that bale because if it falls down over this little hill, I gotta remember where it is. Oh, it's gonna fall in the field. That's good. Let's back up and dump these bales in the fields. That's not the way over Massey Ferguson. Fold that up and we'll go put this away. Yeah, let's drive right over our crops. It's okay. It's okay. Then after we park this up, we'll just check the contract page to see what's available why the Massey finishes up. But I did like the price of those soybeans though. Those are pretty good. And we did lose some of our harvest because we had some weeds in the first part of the field because we found out you can't get rid of weeds after your crop is ready for harvest. And I probably need to put more seed in that seed drill anyways. Hopefully you can finish the field. So as we found out, we got some boxes here. They're like 500 a piece per box when they're full. Come on, chickens. But I did read the patch notes for the update that came out today. And it was all for the steering wheel. So there was no other patches for... Like I said, I've had some issues every once in a while where it says no room for chicken, chicken eggs. And you come here and it's like, well, I don't know. I really don't know how many boxes this is going to hold, but I'm going to say it's going to hold. Hmm. I would say at least at least five per row, and I'm going to say three rows, so maybe 15 boxes. Probably 15 to 20 boxes or so. All right, so let's go see what we got for contracts out there. Fertilizing, yes, that's a good price. It's actually right next door. Fertilizing, fertilizing, fertilize field seven. That must be whoa. Fertilizing twenty-four grand. Twenty-four grand. That's the big field though. That's got that's gotta be the big field. Yeah, that is a gigantic field. That would burn through a lot of fertilizer. But these are the two fields that we will probably be buying in the near future. We can afford one right now, actually, but might as well wait until we can afford both. Um, what did you plant in there? You planted corn. I can't harvest corn. Uh, I swear this game is just planting everything except for what we can harvest. 
And it, know, it almost knows what fields I want to buy. I mean, look at the sugar beet, sugar beet. Uh, okay, so that's not... What did you... I'm trying to see what these two are. Oh, wait, or is there not, nothing in them? Maybe there's nothing in them. That would explain it. Oh, it could be grass. Yeah, one field is grass. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, how much is that field or land? 227. Yikes. Yikes. Am I going through that much? You still have seed in you. Yeah, you do. Okay. It just seems like the workers seem to be charging quite a lot of money all of a sudden. Yes, I know I'm in the way. Oh, it aggravates me with the chainsaw. I'm trying the mouse. I'm trying the keys that rotate it. No luck. And a thousand dollars per chainsaw, I don't want to sell it and just rebuy it, so. Alright, so I, yeah, I need to figure out a contract and I'll bring it back shortly. I don't know if I want to do fertilization with the sprayer or the spreader. Alright, I think I figured it out. I'm a man with a plan. I had to wait for the Massey just because it's got the narrow tires on it and we're going to go do the fertilization. So not knowing whether the field is, you know, how high the crops are in the fields, bring narrow tires so you don't damage crops. So the first field we got is the one right next door. It's going to be a quick job, obviously, with this sprayer that we got, or a spreader. I think we're getting like 800 bucks for this, but you know, it's $800. It'll put us back over what we need to... Yeah, I know I don't own this land. Well, technically, I'm working on the land that I'm supposed to, and I own the land behind it, so in a way, I should have permission to do anything around here. <laughs> so... No, but this will get us back over $0 in our bank account. Which I've gotten pretty used to recently. But I got about four fields that we're going to fertilize. But when they're this small, they're going to go through pretty quick. It'll give us some cash. Alright, well that's folding up. We'll come in here. $879 completed. Thank you. The other one's field 21, which is just around the corner. We'll accept that. Uh, 21. So it's the second field past. All right. I should have enough in the spreader to do that field as well. And then I'll probably go buy a couple pallets. It's not like it won't get used. But we do have to spend some money. Hopefully I'll have enough money to buy a pallet. I may not have enough money to buy a pallet. I don't know. I may have to borrow some cash to do so. But we'll get our money back eventually on it. Plus we need it for our fields anyways. That's saying again, you got to spend money to make money, you know. No roads actually get up to the, some of these fields, which is interesting. Let's make sure, I'm pretty sure if we were on the wrong one. It is field 21 that I'm doing, correct? Yes, 21. This is normally where we might say turn on GPS and go to town, but... Like I said, it's a small field, but we are getting paid over a grand to do it. 
But we are using our equipment, so we're putting wear and tear on our tractor, our Breedle spreader, and using our fertilizer. Usually I wouldn't do fields this small for the price, but we're going right by here anyways. So I may as well. Hopefully it's enough when I get near the end to trigger it or else I'm going to have to do that narrow little strip, which I'm pretty sure I will have to. One thing is when you do these contracts, there's no noise that when you complete the contract that it's, you've reached the goal of 100%. It, do, it does tell you at the top corner of the screen, but there's no chime or nothing. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, field 18. Where is 18? Oh, it's right across the street. I should be able to do that with what we have. What I mean right across the street is that one right there. Because we haven't used that much fertilizer yet. I'm debating whether I want to do field 8 or not. It would be a good chunk of change. I'm thinking I might. Just to help the farm progress along. That dog sound that barks. <laughs> now for those of you who don't know, I, I do live out in the sticks. I live out in the woods pretty much. And that sound there, to me, sounds like the, coy the coyotes around my house when they're in the middle of the night, especially in the summer, when you got your windows open and you're listening to what's going on and you can hear the coyotes howl and then that's the way coyotes sound sometimes. They do sound just like that. At least where I live they do. I was ready to say, you better pop up, tell me you're done soon. I'm almost out of field. So there's three quick jobs, which puts money in our bank. Field 7. We will do that one as well after we go to the store. But field 7 is which one? Alright, so they're right next to one another. So what I might do is really fill up this sucker. So let's go to the store. I may have to borrow some cash because this does hold quite a bit. Hop in cab, take a good look around. We are down to half a tank of fuel though, finally. After six and a half hours I got in this tractor already. Probably I'm going to have to borrow some money because I want to buy at least two. So it looks like I got herbicide and liquid fertilizer. Uh, solid fertilizer bag, 1600 I got enough for two. And I do love it when you go to fill up these things. You can hear the RPMs of the engine kick up. Although I don't know why it would for filling up bags because there's no pump on this one to pump it in. It should be 
I should be here with a forklift dumping in realistically, but... Alright, so we're back down to under $500, but now we're going to go make some cash. I'll meet you up at Field 7. Alright, here we are. Let's get to work here. And uh, earn us a good, solid amount of money here if I can find out where I need to be. There we go. just about done here meaning I have missed a couple pieces here and there by trying to get as much working with out of this as I can but we'll find out when we get near the end here I'm just watching the upper right hand corner because like I said they should at least give you like a little bit of a ding or something let you know that it's done because if you're not paying attention well I guess you would most people just finish the field anyways I don't want to waste my material. So, hey, we are done. Turn that off ASAP. Because it doesn't matter. Once you once you complete the contract, so you'll see right here, I didn't finish the field here. So once we go into contracts, 11 grand. Thank you. Now, now you look, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, but the whole field has been now fertilized. And I should get out of the field as well. But that didn't really take me that long. And if I look at field 7, that's like, field 8 is like two of those fields. So it's only going to take me like twice the time. Uh, I want to go in here. Fertilize field 8 for almost 25 grand. You betcha. I will be doing that. Not in the episode, though. I'll be doing that off camera. Because <laughs> that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this episode. I appreciate you watching, as always. And I'll see you next time in Ravenport. But until then, have a good one. <laughs>